One of St. Ignatius's longest standing buildings, Loyola Hall, was built in the 1890s, constructed initially as St. Mary's Catholic Grade School. In 1945, it was given new life as part of St. Ignatius High School. Over time, the need for more room and updated spaces became more apparent. The classrooms look antiquated, and the halls created tight spaces that made it difficult for students to flourish and feel like they were learning in a modern environment. Under Vision 30, the decision was made to breathe new life into the halls of Loyola, and in the summer of 2023, renovations were made that transformed the building into a more suitable learning environment. By the beginning of the school year, the building has undergone significant renovations which once again breathe new life into an old building. In addition to the renovations, the math department was relocated to the new Loyola Hall in order to foster a more collaborative environment with the science department. It's always super exciting starting a new school year. Um, can't sleep the night before, uh, always pretty revved up for that. But uh, coming into a new space like this makes it doubly exciting. Everything looks beautiful. I can't believe they turned it around this quickly. Super bright spaces. Um, the tech is everything we asked and more. Uh, so it's gonna be really exciting putting all that to new use. The classroom is super uh, flexible in how you can lay it out. Um, so I'm sure we'll try some different designs and see what works best, but just really, really adds to the excitement of, of another school year. Not what I was expecting to walk into it or at all. Yeah, it's almost almost like walking down the stairs on uh, Christmas morning, just just seeing a, a big surprise that we've all been waiting for. I'm incredibly impressed that they have done so much um, in such a short period of time. Flexibility of seating um, and the way that we can adjust the different um, positions within the room, how students can be paired, separated. We have standing desks. We've got a lot of different ways that we can address different student needs at different times. It doesn't have to just be one set way every single time. New paint, new, like, just kind of fresher because it, like, oil felt old before, so. That's it's pretty hot in there, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, really hot in there. AC would help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tall? Uh, it was yeah. kind of small and like was, more compact. Yeah. The hall was like, real small. Yeah, like you're always squeezing for the people just to get to class. Yeah. That would be the main reason we were late. Oh my God. Yeah. A lot of traffic that was like hard to get through. I just think it looks better, more open, a lot cleaner looking. I'm just blown away with how new everything is. Just how great it is compared to the classrooms we had last year. The furniture allows for awesome group work. We've eliminated the front of the classroom, which this allows for that beautifully. It's really just spacious compared to what, uh, what we were used to last year. Um, I love my classroom was one of the smallest over in the main building, so um, just looking forward to having a lot of space, a lot of room for myself and the students to move around. I just love how it was less um, crowded than it was before, much more roomier. I think it'll be good for like switching classes and stuff like that. It's a lot brighter, it's more spacious. I think it's an overall upgrade for the school and it's just a better environment than it was last year. It was a lot more bland and brown last year. Now it's more colorful and nice, like the Ignatius spirit. I think it's really more open and it's a lot nicer. It looks more like modern, it's updated. Now it's really updated and uh, new, so. You excited to learn in here? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a good place to learn, so. The part of the building I like the most is probably the open space and just the nice energy and stuff. Yeah, I'm really excited to take cl more classes in here compared to last year. Felt old school, now, I don't know, it feels a lot more new. Feels like I'm walking in a completely different building. The classrooms look wonderful. They're everything I could dream of for a teacher, um, being able to come in and have brand new furniture, or beautiful lighting. Um, it's a new classroom. We're finally teaching this beautiful big space and uh, I'm very excited for it. I had a crew of guys last year that were like vagabonds. They would just sit there in front of my room and like they'd have their lunch, they'd do their math, they'd read their, their math books, and then now they have a dedicated space. Yes. I had some that would sit on the floor, you know, with their backs on the wall, and you know, I feel like it would be great to actually get them some chairs and some desks and actual like space for them to actually work on things. And now we have plenty of it, you know, whether it's on the second floor or the third floor, um, there's plenty of room for students to work, interact with each other, and ask us questions. The thing that excites me most is that as cool as this is and as amazing as this is, we are the step one, which means the future building, the makeover of the main building will all be 
as awesome and if not more because we will learn from our construction and people will be able to have just incredible spaces that will meet student need and teacher needs.